Hello and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at operations with polynomials. This is another topic on the passport to advanced mathematics. As always, we're going to be looking at five questions and explaining them to find the intricacies in this topic so that you can ace the SAT math portion. If you like these videos or found them informative, please be sure to like and subscribe. And with that, let's get into the first question. Question number one, here it is. We say s minus two plus seven thirds, s cubed plus seven thirds, s squared minus seven s plus four thirds. And we're asked which of the following expression is equivalent to the expression above. So let's see what we can do. First, we're going to add this up. Right, we're going to get seven thirds s cubed plus seven third s squared plus six s minus two thirds. And then every single thing is going to be a factor of one third substitute in here. Factor of one third and you get seven s seven s cubed plus seven s squared plus eighteen. Here, this is a, and it would be a minus three substitute, and it would be a minus minus eighteen s minus eighteen s plus one third six s. Never mind, it's subtract. All right, and that is that is what. Choice. Answer choice in any thing here. That is our answer. Let's move on. All right. For the next question, and here it is. What is the sum of eight a minus seven plus five b squared minus two a squared and seven b squared plus six b minus twenty a plus three? Well, that is a mess, but it's hard to deal with. So let's do it. And then we get 12a squared. Um, it's 60 by itself, I guess. Um, a constant of a minus 4. And plus, how we group the a squared, and it gets as just negative 2a squared by itself, and we get the a. So 8a minus 20a, and then we negative 12a. And the answer choice. That's our answer. Let's keep going. Question number three, and here we are. If p of x equals negative x squared plus 2x minus 19, and q of x equals 3x squared minus 9x plus 2, should follow the equivalent to 2px plus uh, q of x. 2p of x is going to be negative 2x squared plus 4x minus 38. Uh, x is 3x squared minus 9x plus 2. So we add those together and we get x squared minus 5x minus 36. And we factor that. So x minus 9 times x plus 4. And we'll check that x squared. So minus 5x and then the minus 36. So that is the correct factor. And we see we see that is going to be the answer. It's A. And that's our answer. Let's keep going. All right. Next question. Here it is. Uh, if p of x equals 2 thirds x squared minus 7 fifths x minus 2, and q of x equals one half x squared plus one third x minus four thirds, which of the following is equivalent to p of x plus six q of x. Six q of x is going to be three x squared plus x minus four plus p of x, which is two thirds x squared minus seven fifths x minus two. We add those together and we get a color. We get 11 thirds x squared minus, minus 2 fifths x. And then um, we get minus 
given to me. Let's see why that's okay. Right, let's see. So this x cube x is 3x squared, it's not plus x and not minus 4. So this is the incorrect part. So multiply by 6, right? So multiply by 6 becomes plus 2x. This equals minus 8. The tail end of the C to B function over here, this part and this part, are going to be plus 3 fifths x minus 2 n. What we could I do to choice C for the possible? This is going to be answer to choice C. Let's move on. All right. Here it is. If p of x equals g squared plus 10g plus 25, and q of x equals g plus 5, what is p, p to the x, not g, q to the x? Well, I need to say that g squared plus 10g plus 25 equal, looks like g plus 5 squared, right? We can multiply this out and we get exactly that. And then multiply that by another g of 5 which is just going to lead to g plus 5 to the third, which of course is answer choice D, and that is our answer. All right, as you can see, this topic is mainly about taking the problems and calculating them, however the question asks us to. There's nothing that complex. It's like using this, the basic arithmetic operations except with polynomials. But this is just another application of our algebra skills. We're going to continue in the next video with our passport to advanced math. I'll see you then.